Good evening, everyone. Uh, today we have another live session. Just let me tune the live stream so that I can see what you will be writing. And we will go on with our video. Today, I hope we will be able to close the canopy as I've written in the video description. So let's adjust the camera a bit so that you can see more of the necessary stuff, less of the something out there. Uh, okay, so just let me take out the model and we'll check what we have. So yesterday, I actually today, I painted this part in a black color as you can see here. And now the main question is to paint the chrome parts because there were several chrome parts which should be painted with super chrome. So just this. And I think it will be pretty much ready to be glued in place constantly. Now it's not fixed in place as you can see. So we are just going to put it aside. And now I will need this more tissue. I will use the paste from AK Interactive. That's iron, but it is quite shiny. So I guess there is no need to be fixed on the Super Chrome, let's say. I think it will be more than enough, especially for the part, which will be barely visible on the uh, finished model. Because, I mean, the closed cockpit actually hides everything inside, so there is no point in going out of your skills trying to get something looking good. Okay, so I'm going to use the odorless thinner, which actually has odor. So it's an old joke. I hope you understand. Okay, so we are going first to wet the brush a bit because it's stiff so I have to make it softer and now we are going to apply just a tiny bit of this paste of course don't forget to close it because otherwise paste will be going out it's tiny magic of this paste so just don't forget to do it because otherwise you will have a lot of funny time so now we are going to brush it right on the part, nice and easy, do not hurry. And actually I would recommend to brush off excess because it will be really difficult to get everything nice and clean. So it's better to use the old, good old dry brush method, which will be easier and safer to do. So now I'm going just to pick off the extra piece here and here. Here you can see the result. They are quite shiny. You can even polish them, but I won't do this obviously because I mean, there is no need for this. It's not that important part in my opinion and such a basic assembly will be more than enough with this closed canopy. Okay, now I'm cleaning the brush and we will be doing one of the most important steps in the assembly process, I would say, in the build, because we will be actually installing this part into the place. Here we have to be careful because part goes inside really tightly. So just be gentle with all those elements, otherwise you will end up with broken parts. And I think I might show you a good example if I will be unfortunate enough. So, okay, I'm just going to push this part here. Then this part should be pushed here just a bit. And what I do not understand is why it doesn't fit like completely in a clean way because as you can see this part broken off so I'm not sure what to do and if this part actually should be there because as far as you can see on in the assembly manual it was there 
Yes, it is. Just wait and check further. It is even there. Hmm. So now it is the question on how to install it because you have bar here and basically you won't be able to install it under the bar. And what's even more funny is that now we have part fixed in place thoroughly. So I'm not sure what to do with this. So just let me pick it up. Nope, it doesn't work here it doesn't work as well so we are going to need tweezers obviously and these tweezers it doesn't work as well funny so fitment is nice yes but the assembly order is not well thought so that's why you get the, this element broken off and now I have to think through how to install it actually because it is almost impossible to install it properly. So my guess is to break it away and then glue it back onto the part. So I'm not going even to sew it off and I'm going to break it then I'm going to install this part into the place. Without these parts, as you can see, this panel fits nicely, so there is no issue whatsoever. But now we have to glue this part into the place, or maybe just to install it in the place, so that it will be good looking part. I hope I won't lose it. Because otherwise it will be a really funny situation. Of course you can replicate it also with metal wire. I would rather suggest to do it to be sure and safe. But we are not searching for the easy way. I would like to use the original plastic parts. And it goes inside. So now it's a matter of the careful picking up. Now I have to think it through because it's not easy as I said before and now I think I lost the second bar so I guess we will be doing the metal wire <laughs> anyway okay so for the metal wire I will need to take one in my spare parts so just give me a second Or maybe not, maybe not, because, mm, no, I thought I have the thin plastic, but it looks like, nope, so we just have to find the metal wire in order to use it on our model. So just give me a moment because it's not that easy. I'm not sure where this metal wire is. So I have to go through my spare parts as I said before. And maybe I will find it and we'll be able to use it. I don't see any metal wire. Why? 
this it is hidden deep inside and now I found it okay so we have several thicknesses and I'm going to use one of those as far as you can see zero is three should be more than enough so I'll place it here just to be sure that I will find it next time and now we take out this metal wire that's a typical lead metal wire nothing special but we don't need something special for this I'll just measure the so it should be somewhere here what's funny with this metal wire is that it can be stout even actually cut even with your typical hobby knife so there is nothing difficult but it is also easy to break so be careful while working with such lead parts on your model okay so now it will be the most funny part why because we will have to apply this part into the fuselage and by applying, I mean installation behind the... And also I will have to make sure that I won't lose it during this process. So as you can see, with tweezers it's a bit tricky to pick up due to really small thickness. So I'm going to... Mm, I'm going to use tweezers once again. Actually, a smarter way could be uh, installing this part using whole wire, installing wire where it should be, and then because and then cutting off the excess because as far as I can see, I cut off really short part, so that's why it won't fit for sure. So now we are going to do the safe approach. So just give me a second. Okay. I would take a bit longer wire so that it will be easier to work with it. Let's cut it off. Something like this maybe. Okay. Now we take it again. And we insert it right below the bar which holds the seat belts. Okay, so it seems to be in place. Now we need to bend it a bit because as far as you can see we have, yeah, it's not as easy as it seems to be. And so now we have to do, to redo everything once again and also I need to fix the seat belts because as far as you can see they're not fixed in place so I'll need the um, sharp wooden part okay I guess I won't be drinking tea today because no wikes at the moment so I hope I will have at least one sip because this teacup is getting colder and colder so who knows and I'm going to press this seat belt a bit Because it acts funny, I'm not sure why. Before it was holding in place nicely, but now it just goes away. I think maybe because I pressed with this, this plastic part, which was just broken. So that's why we can't install it into the spot. But 
now it holds in place, okay. Everything seems to be fixed. And now we are going to continue our adventure with this metalware. Oh, thank you for the like. T, T, and T. Oh, okay. Oh. Thanks. It's still warm, so. So, T is good. Today I'm using actually using drinking as far as I remember some Chinese type of the tea so it is quite good black tea I'm not such a huge fan of the green tea uh, maybe a long can be nice but really rare cases with some sweets maybe so that's why I'm drinking black tea now okay so I'm going to fix it in place like this okay So it's to be holding in place, but right into the necessary spot. And now it seems like holding in the right spot. So we are going to apply really tiny bit of glue. And I'm not sure how we will do it because all this, I think we will need a toothpick, but let's try it. Even less glue because glue will be visible on the black surface. Okay, so from one side this part is fixed in place. Now we need to cut off another side. And for this we'll use the sprue cutters. Because sprue cutters actually will let us cut it almost in a clean way. Without any additional issues. Okay, it seems to be cut. Now I just need to apply it back in place. Because as I told you, this part is easy to bend. So that's why we have this let's say issue I wouldn't say it's issue because still this plastic uh, this metal wire works nicely so you just apply it into the necessary spot and you're good to go mm -hmm. okay now I removed completely this bar because I need to straighten it a bit and then I'll insert it and fix it with glue. And I lost it. Nice. So, I'm not sure what to do now, because it seems like it's stuck inside. Okay. I'm not sure how this was designed, because as you can see, it is impossible to install it when you have this bar in place. So, it's just making me set a bit so I need to find the black paint I will retouch the, the spots where glue was removed 
Und hier. Genauso hier. Okay. Okay. Brush is clean. I'm not going to glue this panel into the place because it holds nicely, so there is no need to apply extra glue. Maybe just a tiny bit here in the tail area, but I'm not sure if it's really necessary. Let's, let's do it just to be calm about it, let's say, and not to worry about any possible issues. So, just a tiny drop here, tiny drop here. Okay, and now we need to install the canopy. This canopy it will be. Ouch! Everything fell down, but I'm okay. So we continue. Okay, so what do we need to do here is to install the canopy. And the canopy will be hmm. will be consisting out of several parts. As far as you can see, some of the parts should be even painted black, but I mean, come on, we will have closed canopy, so there is no point in painting them. We need port A4. Rahul, thank you for commenting. I hope you will find the stream useful. This Tempest is smaller than what you were searching for. I mean, the Airfix Tempest, because Airfix Tempest is 124, exactly two times bigger. But still, I mean, those kits are quite nice. I like the Airfix kit for its detailing because it's really amazing. But in this size, I would rather recommend also to go for Edward P parts. I think they also release some resin parts, which also help you get even better detail. <laughs> I'm glad that this actually makes you build something. Never stop. Get some build, small kit and build it. I really like those tiny kits from Vizda because they don't take a lot of time and they are really easy to build and you won't have any issues with them. So with front canopy we have quite interesting situation because it goes into the special slot, special installation slot, so there is no extra movement and what we have to do is just to apply the extra thin glue here and it will be fine. So let's do it. I'll do it in the corners because in the corners it is it would be less visible. And now we are going to press it here. And another application of this glue. I'm using extra thin glue just to be sure that I won't damage the canopy. Still be really careful because this extra thin glue also damages clear parts and then you will be stuck with not that nice canopy, let's say. So front windscreen is in the place. Thank you for the second like. I'm taking the second sip of the tea. Okay, thanks. Third like. <laughs> you want me to run to the toilet. Okay, thanks. Third. 
sip of the tea and we continue. So I need the movable part of the canopy which was broken off the sprue but as you can see it broke off on the attachment point so there is no issue we just clean it carefully and it will be good to go. I really like the appearance of the clear parts from Edward they look amazing I mean it's really impressive quality I would say. So as I said we have to cut off extra plastic beads so I'm going to use the extra fine saw just to sew off those beads. Just do not hurry with this. It's better to be slow and safe than to hurry and damage such a beautiful part. So one cut at a time. Okay, so one side is ready, just honey, lemon, ginger, green tea, come on, that's some crazy mix. Fourth like, okay, I'm going for the tea. <clears throat> Okay, next time we need to do something more rough. Vodka maybe? Okay, so I'm sewing all the... This moment. Okay, it's cut off and now I just need to clean it. Uh, because this attachment point actually goes inside the part so that's why be sure to clean it from all necessary sides otherwise you end up with a bit ugly look okay now we separate the frontal section so again sewing it off but what I will do I will use some cloth in order not to damage the clear area okay and it seems to be nicely cut so the only thing I will have to do is Clean it a bit and now we try the test fitment. So it will be somewhere here and it looks really nice. I appreciate the appearance of this board, but what I do not appreciate is that I will have to paint the fuselage cover here because otherwise it will look ugly. And also we need some frame. What was that? F11 board. So just give me a second to find it. I'm not sure which sprue is F11, so this one. And here we have this frame, so just a second. By the way, another good news is that um, I have finally the masks for this kit. Actually, um, not the canopy mask, but cam camouflage masks. So it will be really interesting to see how to use them. I will do the separate review and then build review so that you will know more about them. Frankly speaking, I recently discovered this company, so it is really interesting to give them a try and see how helpful they will be in this project. So here you can see I cut off this frame and now I just need to clean it. Be careful while cleaning it because it's a of power to actually break it. So be careful as I say. Okay, I'm using the sharp knife once again just to cut off the extra bits from attachment points. 
because it was attached from the inside. It's also quite nice design because you, know, you won't have the attachment point bits on the uh, on the visible surfaces. And basically they will be invisible even if you damage somehow those areas, still they will be hidden by the canopy part. I know some modelers will be furious that you can't hide your imperfections, but come on, everybody does it. And I saw several models, even in the top class competitions, where <clears throat> they had um, some hidden flaws, which are barely visible on the finished model, so that's why they were not given such a huge attention. So it's just a matter of your own personal approach. If you have some extra time and you are ready to spend it by trying to perfect something, it's up to you. I'm more than happy if you have such approach to your parts, to your projects. Okay, so what we have to do is to attach this part and this part. But I'm not sure how they should be attached. So just give me a second. Actually, it should be glued somewhere here. Just like this. And I just wonder if it will hold by the attachment point. So as you can see, it holds in place. But, and this replicates the special rollers which are used to slide the canopy back and forth. But we have to paint this part into flat black. So that's quite funny thing to know. Okay, so what we are going to do is to airbrush it, obviously. And then we will glue it in the place. So let me start my airbrush. I will put the model a bit further so that it won't be damaged. David, hi. How is it in Arizona? Is it warm? Is it cold? Because here it is freaking cold. I just hate such winter. I mean, there is almost no snow and, and strong wind. Visibility today was really bad, so I wasn't fine. And that's even worse. Okay, so one drop of the paint should be more than enough. And I would do the two drops of the thinner. Ouch, what is this? Also do. Pips like, thank you. Another sip of the tea. Okay. So two drops of the thinner. Now it's really challenged not to drink the thinner instead of the tea, you know. <laughs> because I will be happy to see the like and then I will drink something what will be in my hands. So let's switch on the air compressor. Okay, works. Surprisingly. I'm using Vallejo paint, but I'm planning to replace it because I am not that happy about its application, how it works on the surface. It's really difficult to control paint. I mean, everything is relative. Wow, 74 in gate. That's, that's cool. I wish it would be like this here. So as I was saying, everything is relative, of course. So I'm just comparing how this paint behaves in comparison with, for example, AK Interactive paints, also with some MIG paints, 
and that's just, let's say, nonsense. It's 2019 already, so I'm looking for the paint which will be acting as a normal paint, not as something with hidden surprise in it, you know. So that's why when this bottle will be finished, bottle of the paint obviously, I will replace it with something more efficient. Okay, so let's take it with tweezers. I hope the paint is dry already because I will be airbrushing the other end of the cabinet. Okay, now it seems to be okay. So let's leave it aside to dry a bit. What I would like to do is uh, to pick up the paint set I will show you because it's something new from AK Interactive and we will be actually using it in this build so that's why I need to run to the other room and to pick it up so just give me a second It arrived relatively recently, it's one of their newest releases. It's a uh, real color series. And I'm just going to cut off this plastic bag and I will show you what we have here. Here it is. I just need the sharp knife for this. Okay. So we have, I mean, I have the set for okay so <laughs> it's funny but i have the wrong set and i have left fluffy uh, like world war two colors so i will have to search for the british colors because why we need it because um Camouflage covers will be visible through the canopy. We definitely have to paint this area. It will be masked and painted carefully. And then we will be able to close it with a sliding part. So I'm really sad about this thing. Uh, maybe it will, let's say, make us assemble something from the World War II Luftwaffe early uh, period. Definitely not now, so I'm going to put it aside and okay With this part, I'm going to spray it a bit more so that we have nice and even surface and We'll glue it into the place So just give me a second Like your brush got stuck. I think it's due to the Vallejo paint. Okay, now it works. put this part aside, it has to dry a bit. Let's clean the airbrush. In the meantime, okay.
clean. Now we clean it here, and we also clean it here. Okay. Also maybe here. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, definitely yes, because really dirty frontal plate up. Okay, now it seems to be clean. So just let me put the air compressor and we will continue. Okay, so we have the black part painted. Now we need to join it together with this nice canopy part. So I'm going to use the clothes because otherwise we'll have it scratched. And now we are going to apply, or actually install this part in place. There are special installation slots, so don't be worried about wrong position. But here with extra thin glue you should be really extra careful because otherwise you'll get ugly finish. Definitely apply it from the bottom. Do not apply it from the inside or from the side because again it will be visible. Really nice result. He applied a bit here and there, and it seems to be holding in place. Okay. So now, as I said, I have to find the British colors set because otherwise we won't be able to close. But overall appearance, I this fuselage part, so I can show you in a second. So here it is. As you can see, everything fits nicely. And there is no problem with some parts stacking out or any other possible issues which you can think of. But as I said, definitely we need to... Actually, this part is not glued properly, so this side of this black part so I'm going just to add a bit more glue. Okay. And then I will do the retouching with black brush. Okay, it seems to be okay. So I'll put it here. And it is nicely looking find the paint set. I won't hold you for long because there is no point to wait for this. Maybe I'll do it even tomorrow because I need some sunlight for this. And also I want to work on another thing. I will tell you tomorrow what it is. So for today I think that's more than enough. We have this front of visage. Um, actually windshield and also we glued the sliding part so now we just need to paint it properly and we will be good to go to join this sliding part actually I'm not sure if it is really necessary to paint this area because just give me a second just from what I can see is the camouflage covers will be barely visible so basically there is no need to paint it before installation because as you can see this part covering it so it will be closed and we get more or less nice so let's close the fuselage I will try it. I mean, I will bet that there is no need to paint this part and we will see how this bet goes.
in the future, let's say. So, okay, first of all, I would like to get the rear section because rear section seems to be eating money. So I have to fix it a bit. And then we will slide it a bit to the frontal section of the canopy. Okay. And now we, chance are high. A long time no see, huh? How is helicopter assembly going? Is there any success with it? Well, it's not dark here, but it is also cold. <laughs> so I guess we are on the same side on this. Okay. And also I need to glue this part. Wow, you already applied decals. You are quite fast. So canopy seems to be working nicely. I'm just not sure about minor gaps between these canopy parts, but I think that won't be an issue. And overall fitment is looking good. I'm looking forward for the masks application because it will be a really funny process. So lucky you are. <laughs> I am looking forward to the stencils on this Tempest. I think it will be really at least one hour session. Really demanding process. What I do not like is that I think we got a bit of glue here with the black part. Hmm. And now when I will be tearing apart this part, it will actually damage it even more. So I'm not sure what we will do here. Huh. Even if I separate it, I won't be pay, able to repaint it. So I guess there is no point in cleaning. We will use something to cover this, I guess. <laughs> because as you can see, there is small white patch on this black surface and it's not that nice looking on the model. Okay, so canopy is installed. Here you can see it with canopy. It's quite nice looking aircraft in my opinion. And the next thing we need to do is what? Mm -mm -mm. I'm thinking about installing the winding gear OX but I think it won't be that easy. And also, we will have to apply mask gear. What else? Propeller can be painted separately. Exhausts, Exhausts are covered with black color. As you can see, I did uneven finish in order to get a hook on both exhausts. Later they will be covered with with rust color. So for today I would call it done. And next video we will be actually having aircraft 
covered with primer. I'm thinking that there is no point in doing the session with mask application. So just let me check the assembly manual so that I can understand what else we should do. As far as you can see, oh, we also have to apply the fish plates here. That will be a stuff to do. Okay, fish plates and tail landing gear can be actually installed in place, but I think there is no need to do this. And I'm thinking about the main landing gear doors. I'm also thinking about, just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Also thinking about various minor parts, but fish plates, definitely I will have to work on them. I just need to check one thing with canopy because I do not understand how far, how high this cockpit walls or actually canopy walls will be. Yes, on the picture in the assembly manual, I can see that they're really high. And in that case, we have a chance to hide this white patch under the canopy. Today, that's all. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Of course, I would like to thank you for pressing five likes and letting me take uh, five sips of the tea. Um, if, if you like, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel because you won't miss any new videos from us. And you can also support us by pressing the donate bell. Thank you for the thick slide, by the way. And we will see each other tomorrow, be it in the live review or 